Retention policies is something you deal with in Microsoft 365 in order to reduce storage costs, remove unnecessary info, and stay compliant. In this video, I walk you through how you can create retention policies for Copilot interactions. It means that using the bits shot with Copilot, you can remove after a specific period all interaction that you have there. All right, let me walk you through how you can set up retention policies for Copilot interactions. Let's go. Here I am in the Microsoft Purview portal, and this is the place where you can create retention policies. So now to create a retention policy targeting Copilot interactions, you have to go on the left rail here by clicking on solutions, if you don't have already data lifecycle management here, you can open the panel from solutions and then you will find data lifecycle management. So what I want to do here is create, as I mentioned, a new retention policy. For that reason, I'm going to target in this menu retention policies. So let's create a new one and this will be called Copilot policy. Let's hit the button on next. I want to have the full directory, I don't want to have specific admin units for this policy, but I want to target the full directory. Again, on next. Here you can have an adaptive scope that is able, for example, to narrow your policy to a specific department or a site URL, it's really up to you. But in my case I want to have something more static, I'm going to target org-wide all resources. So here I have a very long list of location. I don't want to target this um, this policy for mailboxes, neither for SharePoint Classic and communication sites, OneDrive accounts, and M365 group mailboxes and site. I have additional uh, options here like Skype for Business, Exchange public folders, I have Teams channel message, and Teams chats and Copilot interactions. This is the one for me. So I want to have Copilot interaction. Then here I can decide uh, which group or if I want to target all users as a scope. And this is exactly the case. I want to roll out a retention policy for Copilot interactions org wide. All right, this is good to go. Let's now click on next. And here I'm going to select custom because here I have years, months and days and I want to apply this policy after one month. Okay, this is custom, start the retention period based on when the items were created, but I can also select when items were last modified. Let's keep this one and what is the action? I want to delete the item automatically, that's good or you can also select do nothing if you want. You can also retain items forever or only delete items when they reach a certain age. Okay, this is fine. After one month, I want to delete the items, the copilot interactions in this case, automatically. I'm going to set now next policy name, location, all users, and I have here a message. Items that are currently ordered then one month will be deleted after you turn on this policy. Okay, it's good. I'm going now to submit this. It means that now every chat which is older than one month and the same for Copilot interactions will be deleted. Okay, this is now applied. I successfully created this retention policy and now I can click on done and this is my copilot policy. There we go, which targets also Teams chats. But this thing, it's going to change in the future. So stick around, I'm going to do another video. Now let's say that I want to monitor how this retention policy is working. To do that, as an admin, you have the option under explorers to open Activity Explorer. And here you are going to have a report about your policy. In my case, it's I created in the past, 
this one targeting copilot interactions so and here i can see how this thing is it's working so this is divided in this time range you can see how many policy are active and up and running so and you can see also this one copilot uh, interaction that that was cleaned for the user sandra this other one for adele events and this other one for gd and again all other users are impacted by this copilot interactions it means that uh, in the copilot shot in the bits shot for example user will no longer see the history which is older than one month are you already working with retention policies in m365 let me know in the comment down below and if you want to see more video like this one type copilot in the comments and i will follow up with additional videos i hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you next time